What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? All right, guys. In today's MTC, we're going to be looking at Cheese Man out of Fort Recovery, Ohio. All right, so this is what Cheese Man has to offer for you guys. $1,500 to $3,000 sign-on bonus, pay weekly with direct deposits, Health, dental, vision, life, long-term disability, critical illness, and accident insurance, life insurance, short-term disability, all company paid. Okay? Y'all might like that. Y'all might like that. Safety and referral bonuses, 401k with company match, available, by the way, extra pay for layovers, and violation free inspections that means if you get pulled in the scale house and they happen to inspect you and you get a clean inspection you get paid paid vacation and seven paid holidays just about all of the major holidays they do pay for and flexible time off this is what they need six months of recent tractor trailer experience hazardous material endorsement and tankers or be able to obtain them within 60 days of employment at least 21 years of age no more than three moving violations or any serious violations in the last 36 months no felony conventions in the last seven years safety driven customer service oriented and hazmat and tanker endorsement let's hear what cheese man has to offer no more wasting time let's get it hold on cheese man this is kelsey hey kelsey how you doing this morning i'm good how are you i am fine thank you are you a, a recruiter please i am all right awesome awesome so uh I'm from a Facebook group, uh, CD, uh, well, one of my Facebook groups is uh, CDL New Drivers, and we caught your Cheeseman uh, post that was in, uh, you know, that was uh, like a sponsored post on Facebook and all like that, so I was just okay. kind of wondering if I can get a couple of minutes of your time to see what you guys can, I mean, see what you guys are offering. Okay. All right, awesome, awesome. So you guys is located out of Ohio. Where at exactly? Our headquarters is out of Fort Recovery, which is on the Ohio-Indiana border. You know what? As long as I've been, I, 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 I've been an Ohio native for over 50 years. I'm, I'm 53, by the way. I, I have mm -hmm. never heard of, it's, you know, before I got into trucking, the main cities that I heard of, Cleveland, where I'm from, Akron, which is not that far from me, Canton, Columbus, Dayton, Toledo. All these other little out-of-the-way, in-the-cut cities I haven't even heard of. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I have, well, I mean, we are a small town. <laughs> yeah, okay. How much, uh, how much experience are you guys looking for? We require six months. Okay, so, like, well, how about for like guys that like directly coming out of out of trucking school? No. Right, we would require the six months tractor trailer experience before we could consider you. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, Pre-employment drug screening, uh, urine or hair follicles or both. It is a hair, or sorry, a urine sample. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so I'm from Cleveland. You know, I, I think I could probably drive down there. I think you guys is maybe about maybe about two, maybe three, four hours away from me. That shouldn't be a problem. But for other people that, you know, that's not in the Ohio area, how would you guys get them up there for orientation and how long is it? Um, orientation is a two to three day program. Um as far as getting them here, it just depends on the area. Sometimes we use a company car. Sometimes we use a relay. Um, other times we get a rental car or a flight or whichever. Like I said, it just kind of varies. Okay, okay. Um, so I, I read on your on your guys' posts, and 
pretty much you guys say is competitive pay. A lot of, you know, a lot of companies say that. <laughs> but what is what is you guys mm -hmm. starting mileage pay for a driver that's coming in with six months? And is it the same for the driver that's coming in at about seven years or more? No. Um, so our mileage pay varies on your um, amount of experience as well as the areas that you're driving. So our home zones are going to pay less than um, some of the surrounding states. but um, And then even the northeast states pay more than all the rest. So um, someone coming in with six months experience, it varies between 54 to 66 cents a mile. Okay. And how about how about a person with my experience with seven years or more? Um, it'll vary between 56 to 68 cents per mile. Okay. Okay. And so are you guys pretty much uh, the entire 48 or do you guys run regional? How, how did that work as far as me coming in we saying, run. oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Our drivers run anywhere east of the Mississippi River, including Texas. Ooh, love me some Texas. Okay, now. <laughs> so I, so a driver such as myself, um, I can average about 3,000 miles and still get home on a weekend? Correct. Are we able to, let me ask you, are we able to take the trucks home? Um, again, it just depends on where you're located. If we have something like a drop ladder terminal close to you, we definitely prefer to keep the trucks there. Um, if you have something that you take home with you, um, again, it just depends on what's close to you. If you have safe and secure parking, because we do haul hazardous materials that have certain criteria of where they're allowed to be parked. Okay. Now, being that being that said, we need our hazmat. We do require the hazmat endorsement. If you don't have it upon being hired, we do work with you to get it once you get here. Okay, okay. Uh, the trucks, what they're governed at? They are governed at 68, can cruise up to 70. Awesome. Driver cams in the truck? We have uh, road-facing cameras only. Okay, okay. Um, do you guys offer any type of lease, uh, lease purchase opportunities? We do not. All right. Um, what about now me? I don't like going up in the Northeast. <laughs> I, I, Pennsylvania mm -hmm. and everything in that far corner. Oh, my God, you could keep. But is there any force dispatch to go up in those areas? We do have customers in the Northeast, so we do require drivers to go there. Um, the way our dispatch works is if you call in, when you call in for your dispatch on Saturdays, um, you just tell them where you want or when you're leaving out, and they'll tell you what's available. So um, if you can find a, a lane or a trip that doesn't take you there, then you don't have to go there. Um, but, again, we do have customers we have to service in the Northeast as well. All right. How often are your home times? Um, again, just depending on the area. You're out of your area. You said you're out of the Cleveland area. Yes, ma'am. We can get you home on the weekends for your 48-hour reset. Okay. 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 Awesome. Uh, pet and rider, and how young – uh, how young the writer I can bring? Um, 13. It has to be an immediate family member. No more than once a month or four times a year. Um, we do not have a pet policy. So okay. We do not allow pets in the truck. Awesome. 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 I mean, this, this sounds very interesting, especially for someone like me uh, that will come in at a higher, at a higher rate, because basically that's what, I'm kind of like looking for, you know, because a lot, you know, when mm -hmm. companies say competitive pay and then I call them up and I'd be like, OK, well, how much you guys is offering? They'd be like, oh, well, it's 47 cents. That's not competitive pay. <laughs> so mm -hmm. so anyway, well, in addition to mm -hmm. your mileage. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, no. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You you got the floor. <laughs> it's OK. I was just going to say, in addition to that mileage pay. Because um, we do also pay for all stops to the customers as well. So that gets added to that cent per mile. Um, and then we also, our drivers are responsible for securing the freight within the back of the dry van. So we pay for that as well. So oh. that's where that, um, like your home weekly drivers, they're averaging an average gross of $1,800 a week. Okay, awesome. Do you guys, uh, do you guys accept drivers out of the SAP program? It has to be the occurrence or incident has to be five years old. Oh, 
Well, so much, so much for some of my guys. Sorry. <laughs> uh, do you guys have a sign-on bonus or a sign-on incentive? Yeah, we do have a sign-on bonus of three thousand dollars, and that is pendant upon having your tanker and hazmat endorsements. Okay, how is it paid out though? Um, over the course of the first nine months, um, oh. I think the first payout is like four hundred dollars, and then three hundred, and then maybe like a thousand or something. It just kind of um, like I said, there's various amounts then. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it. This is some awesome information yeah. that I will definitely pass on okay. to uh, to my drivers in uh, in my Facebook group and my other network as well. Um, I, you okay. know, I talked to uh, a young lady maybe about a couple of years ago. I'm not sure if she's still there, and I can't even remember her name offhand. But, but. Cheese man, all oh, what you know. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I see our trucks all the time, and uh, being that mm -hmm. I'm from, being that I'm from Ohio, I'm a big proponent of Ohio trucking companies. So, so yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And we, we have a, um, our drivers are parked out of Richfield, which is closest to Cleveland. Um, so that may be why you see so many of them up there. We have a couple of dedicated drivers up there. Um, but then we also have some relays and things that operate out of there as well. So that may be why um, you see a bigger a bigger okay. portion of our trucks there versus other places. Okay. Awesome. All right. Again, where are you guys located out of this little town of where? <laughs> it's Fort Recovery. Fort? It's a little historic little little place. <laughs> All right. Fort Fort Recovery. Ohio, man, these names, man. Mm -hmm. uh, we we got Fort Recovery, yep. <laughs> Ohio. We got we got White House or what is it? White House Court, Ohio, something like that. Jeez, Washington Courthouse. Uh, Washington Courthouse. <laughs> yep. Thank you, thank you, Washington Courthouse, Ohio. Man. <laughs> That's wow. Yep. Okay, okay, ma'am. Thank you very much. Awesome conversation. Thank you very much, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. You have a great day. You too. Now. Please, man, everybody. Yes, uh, yes, uh, what do you guys think? Drivers, what do you guys think of this company? This is this is another Ohio company out of Ohio that does run uh down to Texas and all that good stuff. They have very they got they got different pay packages that you guys might need to just go to the website. And look at their pay packages to see which one will work for you. Drivers, if you got like seven years or more, such as myself, you'll come in at about 68 cent a mile. Drivers, if you have six months to a year, you'll come in anywhere between 50 cent a mile. And, and what I was saying about competitive pay is basically what I was saying before, that new drivers with less less than six months or less than a year of experience, you're not going to come in at, you know, at the top tier. You, you're just not. Competitive pay for you guys is going to be anywhere between 40 and 50 cent a mile. All right? And then, of course, for us veteran drivers, it's going to be anywhere from that to, like, 68 or something like that. But definitely go on their website. Their website has much more information, uh, has much more information about the job opportunity, conversation where they offer competitive mileage, bonus, vacation, and time off conversation. They also, she also says you get paid for strapping down the load. Drivers, what do you guys think about Cheese Man? If you drive for Cheese Man, come on and let us know what Cheese Man is all about and what's your experience with them. Well, that is pretty much what I have to say about Cheese Man. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one coming soon. Big Cheese got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me all night? Yeah, take me down.